Sony XA2 Ultra from Best Buy. And they did match. There was a price drop. I had the XZ2 Premium on order. That was $1,000. And this one had a price drop over the weekend to $369 on Amazon. Obviously, you're looking at mid-range versus a flagship, but that was a pretty low price. Amazon was being bogus about their pre-order special on the XZ2 Premium. So, and this thing's dropped in price pretty quickly from when it came out, so I figured I'll give this one a shot. See how I like Sony. As, I've never used a Sony phone before. I currently use either the S9 Plus or LG V20. Uh, I like large phones. So, it's not a lot of fancy packaging. But I guess that's what you get with a more budget style phone. Not a lot in here, just the cord, the power block, and these booklets. So there is plastic on the screen already. Side, you can see you got your power button, fingerprint sensor on the back. There's a little sticker telling you how these guys work. The SIM tray does not need the SIM ejection tool. And you have USB C at the bottom. So this is a 6 inch 16 by 9 phone, whereas the Samsung. S9 Plus is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio with a 6.1 or 6.2 inch screen. So you can see the phone is physically larger with the 16 by 9 and wider, which is what I like. And I already have a Samsung 128 gig and micro SD card, which I'll be using. Uh, first, let's just power this guy up. Power button. Let's see if you have any power to start out with. I'll be using this on T-Mobile. I'm a big dude. 6'1", 240. 233. Thanks to my recent weight loss. So, I want a large, physically large phone, right? Like this guy's tearing that big giant phone. I like that. You know, for like these phones are small enough for me that I can get my hands. So the S9 Plus is generally a large phone, right? So it's basic. Except uh, I don't have my SIM card in yet, so I'm just gonna choose Wi-Fi. I'm gonna skip the SIM card. I'm gonna set up as a new phone. Search I'm gonna put my Wi-Fi in. I like that it has just right off the bat it has Swift Key already installed. Which is my preferred keyboard, anyhow. Now I'm at my Google sign in screen. Let me sign in real quick. Alright, so now we're signed in. I can tell you already just from typing in. Uh, I like the size of this phone. I like holding a big phone. I like the weight. 
phones, people complain about phones being heavy. I like a little mass to it. I'm gonna add my fingerprints to it now. And uh, fingerprint plus pen, so I get down. Uh, I really like typing on it. I just returned the Blackberry Key 2 and bought this from Best Buy because the Key 2 was just too small. I enjoyed the keyboard, but I do like a big screen phone as well. Uh, I'm just dancing my finger around back here. I usually find that if I add my fingerprint at first and then later on redo it once I get used to how my finger actually lays while holding the device. Alright, I did that one. I just did one for now, but we'll Green to everything. Don't want Google Assistant. Alright, so I don't know that I have a Sony Sony account. Let me check this. Alright, so now we're updating the software. You know, right. so now we're looking at just how the initial setup looks. So, it's a cool looking home screen. Looks like stuff's downloading already. I already got an update for software support. Themes. I like how this is darked out already. I let these things download. I know it's a big deal to be already right, to have NFC, but I never use NFC, so I don't care. Has percentage in the top there. I like that. I'm gonna turn off the NFC because I'm never gonna use it. Well, close settings. But you can see how the background moves with it. That's kind of neat. It's like you're using Android messages for the for your SMS app stuff. So Sony used to have their own. It was like a sideways smiley face. But I never used it. It's like pre built in. We have Amazon, which is fine because I'm going to use I'll, just, I'll remove Kindle. I use Kindle, but not on. Uh, so you can't uninstall it, you can only disable it. That's alright though. And I will use Amazon, so it's not a big deal. Weird recommended settings here, but so it's not a lot of apps installed in general. Phone, messages, contacts. It's AVG's nonsense, so I can't disable that one. Google Apps, Files app, I like that. Some people don't like it when they replicate Google Apps, but <clears throat> I do. I like to see people's own take on it, especially when they're not that heavy, like, this is just a regular calculator, but like, I like having my own photo album, I don't like having to use Google Play Photos as my only photo album. So let's just start here, so I'm going to start. Camera, I definitely just want to use auto. I don't care about manual. Tell me it has its own album, it has built in support. I like that. Fingerprint already set up. Back up and restore. I'll do that later. And you can change your themes. System. I won't use that. I don't know what this does. I 
I don't want uh, an assistant like Bixby or but I do like things that will help me. So that didn't really show me anything. Send my email. I don't know what all that's for. Xperia services. Yeah, I'm already signed in, so that's fine. Alright, so wasn't a lot of stuff there, just some minor details. So let's go to settings right off the bat. All colorful. Uh, I know some people like to see the storage. This one only has 32 gigs storage, 13 is already used up. But I'm going to store a lot of stuff on there. I'll have everything on the micro SD card, so that's fine. Uh, system. I'm going to look to see what we're on already. 8.0 March 1st security patch. So let me see if there's a software update available. Yeah, so it's installing one. It looks like it was already installing it. Alright, so that's good. So we're letting the software update. It's a cool little pit crew working on your phone. Oh, I guess it has an app section too, so you can see if there's any updates. A lot of garbage though, huh? Like, I don't care about this kind of stuff. I do like to see built-in features on uh, Android Scan, like uh, LG has Quick Capture Plus, uh, their Notes, uh, BlackBerry Launcher has Notable, and also Notes and like the little locker section, so I don't know if Sony does anything like that. I think Sony's relatively light skin on Android, so it probably doesn't have those kind of features, but I'll look and see, because I put a lot of stuff on my phone, I don't just... Uh, so I'll be using this on T-Mobile. One thing I want to see if it bolts works and if Wi-Fi calling works. A lot of people on Reddit say it doesn't work, but how do I know they know what they're doing? Anyway, so I'm going to restart it. I'll be interested to see how battery life works. Uh, what kind of reception I'm getting. I know it doesn't have Band 71, which is what S9 Plus has, but neither does my Moto Z24, so it seems to work just fine. I ordered a case off of Amazon, so. I'm excited to see how that turns out. That was cool. I like that. Alright, so let's swipe it up. Put my pen in. It's got some good haptic feedback. Everyone says that Sony has the best vibration engine. So let's see if that's true. Alright, so this is my second update. Fresh out the box today. I said, I think Sony's known for getting pretty quick security updates. So, I would think that it will. Should be pretty good. It should certainly be, I would think, at least on the June update as opposed to the March security patch. I don't believe it's going to be on the 8.1 yet, but I don't think that's a big deal necessarily. I'm going to try to use this as my daily driver for a couple weeks. I'm used to... So the LGB20 I like a lot, but it's, at this point it's a two-year-old flagship, and it's got the 820 in there, so it's a little slower now, and LG has a pretty heavy scan. I also have this Samsung S9 Plus, which, you know, it's pretty quick. Samsung is a heavy scan, but obviously it's one of the best phones you can possibly have right now. Uh, but I like the wider, bigger phone. Physically larger phone, so. it's part of the reason I'm getting this guy, right? Alright, a lot of bezel, people don't like that, doesn't really bother me. I do kind of wish there were speakers in there. Yeah, 
right, so let's go back to settings. About phone. It still says March 1st. Mm -hmm. Not that hard to believe. That's all I got. While well, I'm waiting for that to give me a little update pop up, I'm going to go in here and turn off NFC. I don't care about NFC. Yep, so now we got another update coming in. Doesn't really say what it's doing, it's just updating. So it's good to get a lot of updates coming in right now, all at once. Doesn't really seem to be impacting the battery very much. Again, yeah, this phone's been out for a couple months, so it does have some time. Obviously, Hopefully this is a brand new box, brand new. It had a little hole in the back of the box, so I was surprised. Let's see how fast the fingerprint sensor is. I'm just gonna touch it. So, seems pretty quick. Don't see any complaints there. There is just a minimal, if any, camera hump there, right? So that's one of my, so you can see how tiny that would be right there. So really I think I would almost be fine without a case. Uh, I'm going to keep a case on until I decide if I'm going to keep it. But really, that's so flat there, I think I would almost be fine without a case. I don't generally drop my phone, but I don't like when there's a big camera hump sticking out the back. So I feel like if you sit down there all the time, it's going to cause It'll cause, uh, you know, potentially that camera glass, glass to crack, which is obviously something you don't want. Alright, I just immediately got my notification to restart it. Oh, now we're getting that little Oreo style drop down. I didn't notice that before that was there. See this all the time. I don't really know what it does. Oh look, the background moves when you touch it. It's pretty neat. Okay, settings. There we go. So now we're on the June first security patch. That's probably gonna be the really. It's probably gonna be the most. We I get for now. I mean, it's July 29th. I don't know that the July version's been released yet for Sony, but yeah, nope. I do got the wait. No, that's the same. Yeah, what's installed? So let me see. Yep, there's another one coming. Oh yeah, now battery percent's going down a little more, but it's keeping updating. So that's one of the biggest complaints you see online about their phones is not getting updates quick enough so if this one's continuing to get security patches and it's a pretty light skin of android I, from what i understand so it shouldn't have a problem updating moto i have the moto z2 force and it's uh not do the best with security patches, which is interesting because it's a carrier version, it's a T Mobile version, and it still has a lot of the security patches. And even uh, S9 Plus, which is also a T Mobile car carrier variant, is it's also on the June security patch version. So Alright, try to restart again. There's the Moto Z2 Force, which is a 5.5 inch screen. Significantly smaller than the Sony, of course. You can fit almost the whole phone inside the Sony screen. And also, a T Mobile variant, but on a
It's on the May 1st security patch, which makes no sense. I'm also going to connect it to my Samsung S3 Frontier. Uh, I'm no professional Android review or anything like that. I bought this for my own money, for my own credit cards. <laughs> Sony hasn't provided me anything or anything like that. Yeah, see the Swift keys, the, the default keyboard. So I've used Swiss key for a while, so I should make my typing experience be better on here. Alright, so now we're up to date, so let's see what we got. Still on 8.0, but the June 1st security version, so I don't know what these updates are doing. But, let's just check for another one, see what happens. Alright, so I think I may finally be done with software updates for the time being, which is good. So, I forgot to do that. I've been using that for a little bit. So far I like it a lot. I got this in from Amazon. The box is beat to crap. Called Olixor. Well, it's the official Sony OEM case for this. This SCSH20 Ultra Style Cover Stand. Alright, so this is the official Sony OEM case. Let's see this guy. This is kind of like a leathery feel. I don't know if it's real. I doubt it's real leather. But it's soft in here. Hard touch there. And I guess the goal was to set the phone up. So, it should fit right in there pretty easily. No instructions really. None needed. So that's cool. It's nice and premium looking. So you get your fingerprint real easy. Close it, puts it to sleep. That's pretty cool. You can still get to your buttons just fine right there. Still get to your port, obviously. You have to fold it over to make a... Of course, that will block your fingerprint sensor, right, when you flip it all the way back. But that's how any of these flip cases work. And, of course, it will block your camera. Unless you, you gotta hold it like this. So there's something neat that like it doesn't have, like the BlackBerry Notable or LG's Quick Capture, but it does have this thing. Like let's say I'm gonna take a picture of there we go. Well. Has this built in Sony app sketch. And I'm going to click on this. Um, yeah, there you go. Click on that one and hit this one. It'll go to your gallery. And I'll select my picture here. You can edit your picture some. If there's a little, I can draw on it. You can put a little mustache on some things. Yeah, so you can add text to it, All right, which is pretty cool. Thing. It's 
not like so at least you have an option to edit the pictures but like it's not like if you take a screenshot it doesn't jump right into that like it would on quick capture or I can't set your screen just to open right in that and you can crop it accordingly and now I can draw on it and now I can put a mouth on it whatever you want to do right Uh, can you confirm Volpe is not working? I took a screenshot. So, this is a screenshot of me on a call. So, I was on a call here. You can see, you can see it dropped to H plus instead of uh, so that's, yeah, that's H S P A plus probably instead of L T E. And I wasn't previously on L T E. My Wi Fi was off. And I, you know, opened up, went to his website. Uh, other than that, I had to say, well, there's a couple dumb apps in there that I've disabled so far. There's some cool settings here. So you have a Google feed on the home screen. Uh, so that just means you can just slide over and go right into new Google's news so I don't even really need this guy up here because you can just slide over and hit that that's how the moto works as well uh, oh here's something really cool LG used to do this and I liked it a lot this is one widget right here right, you can see that's just one solid widget but I hit this side goes to my clock hit this side goes to your weather which makes sense now I don't have to have two separate widgets on my main page so I really like that good job Sony uh, I do like the Sony email app it's not a Sony calendar I'm not crazy about Google Calendar so I installed Blackberry Calendar because it worked like a champ on Blackberry but you gotta download it and here of course but then it so it takes you this month view I'm gonna blur most of this out so but what will make sense is that it is well August 19th uh, not August 19th 819 but it is Sunday July 29th right it says August up here but the day highlighted is July so if I hit that, it shows me my day, and I kind of like how that works, but how stupid is it that it's saying August? And like, you can't, if you hit that, it still says August. If you hit over, it's July. And if you hit the day. It just takes you to July. I don't understand. And like, it's all grayed out, except for August, which makes no sense. There's still two more days to go in July. But this is a Blackberry app. And you have to have this constant notification, which I don't like. So I'm gonna install that too, probably. But I don't like Google. I also don't like how there's all this white. That's a Google thing, I guess. The phone app is pretty much the same as regular Google. I don't see anything really unique in there. But let's go back to where I was at. So that's cool. This app recommendations, I believe, is just going to be this nonsense over here. So I'm going to turn that off and we'll see if that turns it off. Alright, that's good. So they didn't want those stupid ad things in there. Uh, so I don't know if this search really is. I don't know. I'll just search through all my stuff that search through my phone as a whole. So that's cool. Don't want app recommendations. Let's 
search. That's basically what I was just at. Auto rotation, that just means the home scheme. So, this is the home launcher settings, of course. So, uh, you can just allow it to auto rotate. I don't like that, so I don't want it. I do like that you can turn on enable swipe up. So, now I just have four, so before. See, so I can just swipe up to get my apps. Or if you want to go back to the old style, turn that off. Now you got a button again. I wish you could have both of them on at the same time. Sometimes you want a button, sometimes you want a swipe. Eh, but you know, Samsung has a swipe. I think Moto has a swipe. LG does not. I may have the newer ones, but the current one I have doesn't do it. Blackberry didn't have it. Icon size. So you can either default or small, which is weird. I don't like that. I would make it bigger if it was an option. Icon appearance. So I just think that's you can add a thing back, I guess, but I don't have anything there yet. Uh, show names and dot, so it just shows the name of the apps, the apps here, which I'm fine with that. Standard stuff. I don't even know what that means. I was having trouble earlier when I was moving the app. That may have been what caused it. Widgets is pretty standard. Nothing really stands out here other than this cool widget. So we have an album like that. Amazon was already installed. The AR effect was already installed. I installed Blackberry Hub. Calculator show four. Camera's pretty cool. Simple, but cool. There's settings over here to the side. Uh, but again, I don't really care about the camera. And this isn't really a camera phone. Uh, and I'm not going over those kind of features. All my shots are just going to be taken on auto. Uh, I like that it has its own files. Yep. There's a little... Uh, I don't know this movie creator is. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know, I don't care about that. But it does have its own Sony News app. So that was neat. So yeah, that's a cool little Sony News app. I don't know. I mean, it's, I haven't tried it to see which one I prefer. This or the Google one. But it's not a trip so far. And its own music app. Again, not something I'll be using because I use Google Play Music or Spotify. But I'm glad there's an option. I like their email app so far. It's pretty good. This is Blackberry Notes I installed. It's just a simple note app. Nothing major. I just like having one. Uh, I could use Google Keep, but I use that for other stuff. Uh, everything else there, I've kind of been so sketch we showed sheets is standard Google stuff that's installed. Uh, I don't know if I can uninstall it. Yeah, I can. Task is BlackBerry. I installed that. Video and TVs. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's neat. So I do have a Sony TV. I have a Sony Bravia X900E. If 
probably just messed up my life shows, but I didn't like that. Alright, so I'll show some more later. Uh, yeah, so far the case though, it's pretty cool. I'll use it. I won't use it for every day, but like uh, I go to the client site for work. And I like to have my screen covered up. I can open it and look at it and close it. If I want to type something, I can have it like this and type what I need here. I can't see. So, case is good. Alright. Alright, July 31st. Uh, I just had another update. Just gonna restart and see where that gets me. Alright, so I just relaunched it. Gonna let it reboot. It's finishing the update. I really like this phone. I really like this size. And I like it so much. I think I'm gonna give this one to my mom. She's a senior citizen. She likes the big screen. She currently has a ZTE Z Max Pro, which is not aging well. So I'll probably give her this one, and then someone on Reddit said the XZ2 Premium does support T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling and faulty. Uh, I travel for work, so I'll need that. If that's the case, then I will. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to verify that, and then I will most likely pick up the XZ2 Premium. Alright, so now we're showing up to date. Uh, let's see about phone. Alright, so now we're on the July security patch level, which is great. Alright, so that's good. I mean, it's the last day of the month, but this is also a $300 phone. And it's now on a newer security patch level than my LG V20. Uh, my Note, not my Note, my S9 Plus. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which is, you know, the flagship of all flagships, supposedly. And my Moto Z2 Force. So, it's pretty good. Alright, so like I said I would, uh, I did order myself a second Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra. But that was before... All these people online got me concerned that this box will all beat the crap to them. I got this one from Amazon. This one from Best Buy. This box was dead up. And so was the uh, Amazon one. Interesting enough. The Amazon one has this big sticker on it, which the... Uh, Best Buy one did not. That's interesting. And the Amazon one had stickers on the side. Or the Best Buy box had stickers on the side, while the Amazon one did not. Is this a different model number or something? It says H3223. It says new. So here's the silver one. Yeah, that's interesting. Because I still have the sticker on this black one. I haven't taken it off. But I will have to on the silver one, of course, since it's covering the whole screen here. stickers. It's also a camera button here. So the, one, the black one has that too, but I don't think I showed that earlier in the video. Which all the reviewers seem to be a big fan of. And I really like this uh, gray silver edition here. It's not a shiny. I was expecting it to be like a shiny silver like the uh, old Samsung S7 Edge. 
but it's kind of a cool, darker, metal-looking color. So yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm going to take this out of town. I'm in Kentucky now on T-Mobile. I'm going to use it. 65% out of the box is pretty good. It's not in English. I got this from Amazon, but not from Amazon through some other reseller. They had a good rating, though. I mean, it's still Amazon Prime. So I'll make sure they didn't send me some weird variant, but seems alright. Alright, so uh, basically I'm going to try this. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to go to an airport, Chicago. And then from Louisville's airport to Chicago's airport. And then to Nebraska. And I'll be there for a week. So I'm going to see how the T-Mobile service works there. A lot of people online keep saying that since it doesn't have a Volte and Wi-Fi calling, it's going to be a big problem. And I guess we'll see. I'm gonna. So I have an idea that somebody recommended on Reddit. Okay, so someone on Reddit said you could put on the T-Mobile Digits app and see if that would work when you don't have a Wi-Fi calling option. So I am gonna try that. We'll see how it goes. And it should have multiple updates. Should be in the July security patch. It is August. Fourth. Yeah, you know, my mother phone's getting alerted. Alright, so I'm gonna set this up and then I'll try it out. We'll see how it goes.